Old kitty visiting. Oh, that look at them. Smells so good. The kitties get a little tiny piece of bacon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh, I got hot going in there. <laughs> Oh, it's so nice to get, hear the sizzling of everything. She's making breakfast. Is this the Todd? Yes. Todd Rooney? Ooh. Oh, that one's a little too. Dang, I can't have to break them. Oh. Bacon and eggs. Oh my gosh. I wonder if Orange Kitty's hoping he gets a tiny bit of bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he gave him one and he didn't like it. He's funny. He only likes the catnip. Oh, but he's just enjoying it his morning this morning. Out on our porch, on the back deck. Come on, Langford. Hi to Ernie. Hello, everybody. Hope everyone's doing good. It's a blustery day, and uh, we've had a bunch of snow and rain in Seattle, or hail, and then a tiny bit of snow. Not a bunch, but a lot of wind. So I hope everyone's out there in fair weather, if you can have it. Hi, Stella. Oh, darn, they're kind of stuck. I'm sure they're gonna taste good, though. For a kitty cat. Huh? What are you up to today? Are you hoping that Wallingford or Zilla come out to play? Yeah, you wish that they would, huh? It'd be nice to have them come and play. <laughs> Little boy, it's so good to see you. Yes, it is. Look at that cute little face. Oh, such a good boy. Yes. Where did he go? <laughs> oh, look at how fat this little boy. He's so thick. You're just so thick. Yes. Oh, look at that fat tail. Oh, my goodness. I bet you're not scared of the raccoons, are you? Oh, Zilla's in there. On the other side. Me and you and a cat named Orange. Loving and traveling off the land. <laughs> yes, you remind me of the me and you and dog named Boo song. I think Ernie was the one bringing that up in his comments. Huh. Yeah, because everybody loves Orange Kitty. Yes, it's the Orange Kitty. It's so orangey. If there ever was an orange kitty who had his little orangeiness, it is orange kitty. So most of the time this little guy has two bells. Sporting two bells, but today it's only one bell. Oh, you just have the one bell today? You just really want to come in and see Wallingford and Zilla? It's 
so nice to just see you, little boy. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, are you going to go jump around? Okay. We'll see you next time, maybe, if you're coming back. Little boy, little boy, little boy. If he had a little song, what would it sound like? <laughs> what would your song sound like? Ooh, climbing up. Okay. Gotta go on his, ad his adventure time. Well, we'll be thinking about ya. He's gonna go back in the big forest. The raccoon jar. I didn't I don't have my big coat on so my hands are shaking <laughs> kind of shaky I don't think you're orange kitty but you're not cold at all yeah he's ready to get going oh he's gonna jump oh there he goes oh he's up on the fence <laughs> I think he's, yeah, it's probably the wind that is kind of like making him get a little more frisky. You gonna be taking off, little boy, or are you just playing? Boing! Who's back? <laughs> Well, I gotta get my big coat on because I'm freezing. I'll probably come back over. Oh, Zilla! Oh, yeah, no problem. She went outside. Here he comes. Zilla, you gotta come back in because Orange Kitty's coming back to see you. Oh, she's going to see him. I thought she would come back in, but she didn't. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Oh my god. Zilla's the brave one. She comes out to say hi and eat the catnip that we were leaving for him. <laughs> but sometimes, uh. Alright, my big coats. Okay, let's make sure that everybody's gonna be nice. Did you wanna go back in then, Zilla? Okay. You can go back in if you want, little Come lady. Baby. Oh. Come on, back inside. Bigger. Okay, she went in. <clears throat> oh, you're causing all kinds of trouble over here, Mr. Orange Kitty. But Zilla came out to see you, and then she got scared. It's easier in the summertime when they both have somewhere to lay down and just relax in the sun. Oh dear. Little boy. Where are you going? What are you going to do? What are you doing, little boy? Oh, running off. You just want to play with kitties, huh? 
What you play with kitties? Well, I don't blame you. It's probably pretty boring when it's only people. And not other kitties to play with, right? What another kitty to play with? You want to have best friends. But you want to be the boss. And why would that be bad? Sounds like a pretty good deal to work, Kitty. <laughs> Hello to everybody in Seattle. And Carl, and uh, I believe you're in, somewhere in Russia. <laughs> Angie, who's in Everett, hello. My friend Julie, who's in California, hello. Yeah, the wind gets him all jazzed up to go do something. He doesn't want to just sit there and wait for kitties that aren't coming outside. Woo. Boing, boing, boing. Running around. <laughs> Aww. Yeah, he's got some fun stuff to go do today. Oh, we see some leaves floating around. Oh. That's getting windy again. I get like these gusts. Here he goes. Oh, but he's back. Ooh, he's going to be real happy eating all that catnip. He'll be supercharged now. Oh my goodness, the supercharged boy.
Okay, it's not time to pet right now. He only wants to eat his catnip. That's it. That's all he wants. That's Pussy Willow, and uh, they have new little buds on there. I think he's ready to run. He oinked out on that catnip. Oh, little oinky. <laughs> oh, little oinky. Catnip oinky. There's so many neat little things squeaking out there that he wants to go and see but it's obvious that he just really likes Zilla and Wallingford and wishes he could go play with them huh is that what you wish well, you put up with a human don't you put up with a human sometimes because you no know, kitties want to play or they don't get to no fun when you don't get to have your own friends, the ones you want to pick, right? Oh, just a good boy. Got a lot of dumb things to go do. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, I was too petting too much. He wants a little space. Okay, Orange Kitty. Yeah, he can be a little cranky if you give him too many pets. Sometimes when something's just so cute, you just want to pet it. Yeah, clearly. How to balance extra. 
those who have been able know how to set regulate emotions, recognizing patterns. I want to focus on a few steps that can help you go get a bit closer to that version of yourself because there is a potential within you to become really good at it, but it's hard to be good at it, right? If you don't make some goals out of it, if we don't see our greatness as a potential, as a possibility, design some goals that could be broken down on smaller goals. So you have to learn to think deeply but because most people are running after distractions because they don't have a clear sense of kingdom. Wisdom here reframes different but a fire we can learn what it means. Well, it means that um, first it was across your awareness. And you may say, wait a Back to the door. Uh, 
He's just hoping that someone will let him in. <laughs> so silly. It appears Orange Kitty ran off. So it was not in the mood to play with Orange Kitty. <laughs> she hissed at him right away. She knew something was up. He was feeling feisty. Thanks for joining me.